Good morning, everyone. Our opening hymn this morning for Mass will be in the CBW3, in the small green book, number 563, Sing a New Song, number 563. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Rise, O children, from your sleep, your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul with song. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord singing Alleluia. Good morning again, everyone. And to all who are joining us via our live stream, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Our Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the souls of Jean Guerin and Jim Fitzpatrick. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Rose of Lima. And as we do so, we remember her faith, her example of penance, and its importance in our own lives' journey. And in doing so, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we at this time, too, call to mind our own sins and shortcomings before God and before each other. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of your Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who you set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone, grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. As to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we beg you, brothers and sisters, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed either by spirit or by word or by letter, as though from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. Let no one deceive you in any way, for this purpose he called you, through our proclamation of the good news, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that were taught to you by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us through grace, give us eternal comfort and good hope. Comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. The response to the psalm, 
The Lord comes to judge the earth. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the, the earth. earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. The world is firmly established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the people with equity. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the, the earth. earth. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. The, the Lord, Lord comes, comes to judge the earth. earth. Then shall the t all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. The Lord, the Lord comes, comes to, to judge, judge the, the earth. living and active, it probes the thoughts and motives of our hearts. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice, and mercy, and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat but swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and of the plate but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may become clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The trifecta of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving are so vital to our lives as Christians. They form the foundation stone for our own journey of faith to becoming more like Christ by letting go of our own selves and becoming more fully conformed to Him. These practices and these are best exemplified during Lent and Advent as we, of course, prepare for the coming of our Lord's birth and our Lord's passion, death, and resurrection. They are also a means for us to let go of the things that keep us from loving God more. And these practices themselves help us in that form when we give up things when we let go of comforts, when we allow ourselves to take on certain penances. And there are all kinds of examples that help us along that journey. And as we hear from our gospel today, Jesus is criticizing the scribes and Pharisees, not for their love of God per se, not for their desire to be more like God, but how they are getting there. For our Lord Jesus, everything begins inside. It's not the outside that counts. Sure, practices are important, but everything comes from within. And if we ourselves are working to become better, to becoming more kind, 
to becoming more compassionate, to becoming less self-indulgent, to becoming less selfish. That will show in our outward demeanor, in our outward actions or words. And it's the same with sports. The more you practice, the more effort you put into throwing your pitch or working on your puck handling, the better you become. And the spiritual life, dear friends, is no different. The more effort we put into working on ourselves, working on our relationship with God and each other, the fruit will come. It's inevitable. The life of St. Rose of Lima testifies to that profound reality. Her life was one of penance. Her life was one directed solely to God, and in doing so, she was letting go of any preconceived notions, any comforts, any selfish ambitions that she had, and in becoming more fully confirmed or conformed to our Lord, she was herself becoming a living example of what we should all strive to be in our own lives, to be saints, to be people, to be disciples. A disciple is anyone striving to follow our Lord's will, words, and actions. And that's a lifelong endeavor. Ask any of the saints, they would say the same thing. They wouldn't say, well, yeah, of course I'm a saint. I got, you know, I've done this, 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 no. And perhaps it is humility that makes them say that, but they're as fully aware as anyone that our whole life is a journey like that to becoming more, more fully conformed. So as we do so, dear friends, may we never lose heart. May we never let the, the urge to give up creep in, but may we keep going full steam ahead each and every day by the power, strength, and grace that God provides for us. Dear friends, as we rise and bring forth our prayers, we are confident in God's abundant love for us. Let us speak our prayers with one voice, and our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and his work as shepherd of our church, may the Lord guide him in his servant leadership. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may the Lord bless their efforts to foster justice and peace among nations and people. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose hearts are burdened by sin and who struggle to trust in God's mercy and forgiveness, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community of St. Joseph's, may the Holy Spirit continue to empower us in saying yes to what God asks of us we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, today we remember especially Jean Guerin and Jim Fitzpatrick. May the Lord welcome them into his loving embrace and bring them to eternal rest in him. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those petitions and prayers we keep in the silence of our hearts, Loving God, source of all wisdom, we humbly share our prayers with you and ask that you hear them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with St. Rose of Lima, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of our Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
to all who are joining us online, the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. the body of Christ 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 the body of Christ
those bringing communion to the sick and homebound, please come forward. May our Lord be with you as you bring our Lord to those in need. May this be a source of spiritual nourishment, strength, and consolation in our Lord's presence in their lives. And we ask this blessing, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, let us at this time turn our attention to our Blessed Mother. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good St. Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family. Protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God's blessing be upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Our concluding hymn is number 563, Sing a New Song, number 563 in the CBW3. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, Looking alleluia. Glad my soul, for I have seen the glory of the Lord. The trumpet sounds, the dead shall be raised. I know my Savior lives. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing hallelujah.